Hi guys, in uh, today's video um, we will be joined by a good friend and client Ulrich from Germany. Um, yeah, interesting fact, bow hunting in Germany is illegal and they're working to, to change that. But in any case, on this hunt we were specifically after the spiral spiral horns, the spiral slam, namely the the southern greater kudu, um, Nyala, Lampapa Bushbuck and the Cape Eden. Um, that's the one we we wanted to do and um yeah it was my client's first time to africa we we started talking in lockdown COVID, and um finally two years after we uh we were finally on our way to the limpopo valley um first up was going to be the bush park. um we were going to try for kudu and nyala at the at the first spot but uh yeah we we changed spots after we got our our, our bush park and then um and then we went to to the second area where we uh, we ticked off two two more. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, please do subscribe if you haven't, and um, yeah, check you guys soon. So the plan for um, the first morning was to to set up a blind setup as a backup plan on a spot that I've marked previously um, in the area. And then just to scout scout the river and see where where the big rams were at at the moment um, So that was the plan for the first morning. We saw a few decent ones, but um, just quite couldn't get onto them um, But yeah first first morning was great and uh, Yeah, looking forward to the first afternoon hunt We got a push back at 81 with the bow across the river. <laughs> I'm just happy as I don't know. <laughs> well done, man. But now, Kyle and myself will have to go and swim. <laughs> awesome. I'm just checking. This was the most difficult shot I've taken all my life. 
Thanks, man. Awesome. Well done. Here you go. So we shot Ulrich's bushbuck just before dark. Um, a tricky and a long shot, but he had confidence in his uh, equipment and his ability. Um, the shot entered just because of the angle quite high on the on the ram's neck and came out just just behind the shoulder on the opposite side um we tried to to get him um but with with without a a backup gun in very thick stuff we we decided to let him be for the evening and um we came back the next morning um super super happy for him first one of the spiral horn slam in the bag Man, hunting pushback spot and stock really was an adventure. They are really hard to stalk. The, the most tricky part is to see them before they see you, which isn't possible that thick it is right now. And after like four days of trying to get in on one, we did something really risky. We took a, we took a long shot over the river at 81 meters and we got him. It worked out. I'm so happy right now. This is more than I ever could have dreamed of. This is a, a mature, a mature ram, and look how stunning! Look how stunning they are. It's when the light goes on them, they change. It seems like they change color between gray, black, and red. It's just an awesome animal, and it was an awesome experience stalking this magnificent animal with Danny and color. It was just a blast. So the second area we went to is uh, is the property of a uh, of a very good friend of mine. And um, straight off the bat, first afternoon, we we saw beautiful kudu bull. Um, Ulrich and I attempted a, a stalk on him, but there were just too many cows, and uh, they busted us. And um, a short while later, we actually saw him um, on the foot of a of a little mountain all by himself. Um, so he, he obviously split it from, from the rest of the, the herd and uh, we went in very, very thick, thick bush he was behind um, but we spotted a, a gap with our binos and Ulrich made a beautiful shot at um, just shy of 50 yards. What did I tell you? Man, I just smoked a huge 55 inch plus kudu bull. I just don't know what to say. This is the arrow. Sever 1.5 blew right through him. We just gotta give him some time and then look for him. Man, this is this is literally one of the best days in my life. I just don't know what to say. Look how look how I'm, look how I'm shaking. 45, 45 yards, uphill shot through obstructions, down there is the car, everything went fast. We we're just looking for him and he gave us the opportunity and I didn't want to pass him up. Man, this was intense. Congrats, my man. Man, that's awesome. Lots of blood. Lots of blood. That setup is just deadly. Yeah, Rampage it. 150s, a little over 600 grand, several broadheads. That's actually my go to for the future man it's just i just don't know what to say i just don't man look at that blood he smoked he smoked we just smoked a huge kudu bull man he can't survive that that's lung blood everything done just fine what did you just do the severs work Yeah, look at all this blood. Man. The last blood is here. On this leaf somewhere. Can we just give it some time?
Hooray! Finally. <laughs> I just I don't want him, want him to stand up and I have to shoot him. I'll stand up. Hold on. Thanks, guys. Okay. Well done, but man. What a bull. That's one way to die, Chico. Yeah. Yes, sir. I meant to be able to shoot him a second time. At the second one. Just bad we had to shoot him a second time. But obviously, you guys saw how he was bleeding, but these guys have a lot of blood. It takes time to expire. But the second shot did the trick. He was, he was dead on his feet. Yeah. He was dead on his feet anyway. It just would have taken some more time. He's dead now. Well done, Uri.
awesome, yeah, like, badass dog. He was close all the time. But every time we had a shot, he turned and walked away. And we caught up to him, and about at about 20 meters, had a full front frontal shot. Shot felt good. He's downing just up there, which is going to give him some time. And I'm feeling good about it. Feeling really good about it. How was it? It was awesome. It was just. Uh, Three days, three spirals. It's just ridiculous. Man, I just don't know. It's something else. We three for three now, eh? Jeez. Three days, three spirals. I should have charged you more, man. <laughs> You're getting well for your money. That's it. That's way a, more than that. <laughs> that's a. That's a. That's an old bull. Yeah. yeah, I like the bases, man. You can see yeah. he's worn down. Yeah, I like the white tips as well. Mm. And he's he's completely symmetrical. I mean, they go up straight. Yeah. It's awesome. Man, is that a beautiful bull? That old man, that's cool. long blood. He should have been. The, he was dead on his feet. I don't know what kept him standing so long. Yeah. So the black can fall. It was just under his cap. It was one long for sure. As you in long trip in the paint. These servers make holes, man. They're lit. All right. Yeah. And everything about the spirals is just beautiful, from the horns to the face, the colors everywhere, the contrast in there. I mean, these are the most beautiful mammals on planet Earth for sure. There is nothing like them. I'm just so happy that I got the third down. It's awesome. Yes, now we have a week for an island. Yeah. That's uh, day six. Number three is down. I'm proud. I'm as proud as I can be. You can look at him. He's just a mature old bull, like the animals I love most. Because age obviously is my trophy, not just size. But you can look at him. He's just stunningly beautiful. These Niala are one of the most beautiful animals on the planet, in my opinion. Just if you look at the face and the, the cape, they just have beautiful colors. And this guy was really cool we stalked him for like 200 meters he always was close by he didn't even know we were there we ranged him like 15 times and then when we finally got to the shot it was at about 30 meters strong quartering on it was a good shot he went about 100 meters where he batted down and there he is i'm just as proud as i can be it's Stunning! It's just, it's just awesome. I'm having a time of, a, uh, I'm, I'm having the time of my life here. It's just ridiculous. I'm so proud to be able to hunt these animals, and especially spot and stock with a bow. These spiral horns are challenging, all of them. And it's the best thing you can do. It, it gets the adrenaline up, and then you go to the shot and you find them. It's, it's a relief. It's awesome. It's just awesome. We're back in Limpopo. We're after the D land. We decided to do it from a blind since, since the bush is too thick and opportunities on getting him the spot and stock are just too slim. We got we got our own work done. We did some tracking, we put out some trail cams. These things are just hard to figure out. Might be a really long sit, but we're gonna take it and hopefully I can complete my spiral slam somewhat soon. Cheers.
Actually guys, today we got really lucky. We were sitting in a blind for the eland, which is the last of the four that I need for my spiral slam. And the jackal came in and then he was like, yeah, that's very rare that you get an opportunity at a jackal with a bow, so we took it. And here he is. Look how beautiful that, that cape is. I'm definitely sure I'm gonna do something with that. And they cause a lot of problems on the farms. So actually the, the, the property owners from, from the game fences and farms, uh, it's also good for them to take a couple of them out. Otherwise they cause a lot of damage with young animals like lambs, sheep and even game. And actually there is a lot of them around here. Wherever you drive with the car, you, you see them uh, hopping in roads. It's it's just awesome that we got one with the bow. I'm really, really happy. Doesn't happen every day. Cheers. Over the next few days, we really tried everything to get Ulrich his eland. Unfortunately, due to the fact that we had an insane amount of rain very, very late in the season, there was still a lot of water in the bush. Um, and to top it all off, the moon wasn't, wasn't really helping us at the time. Uh, we had trail cams out on all the spots and it just seemed as if the eland came in really, really late. We actually had a herd of eland come in um, one afternoon right at dark. And unfortunately, funny, funny enough, there wasn't a mature bull in the herd, um, which is strange for that time of the year. But in any case, we, we tried spot and stalking. We sat in blinds hours on hours, but unfor unfortunately, we didn't get our eland. Um, and luckily, Ulrich is already planning on coming back in 2023 to, to get his eland bull to complete his spiral slam. And, um, you know, that just shows you this This is hunting. That's how hunting goes sometimes. And uh, a lot of people think that, that hunting South Africa is a slam dunk. And um, quite frankly, it isn't. Our game is really, really tough. Um, they, they, they are wild um, weather patterns changes in in just the areas have a big difference on them just as as it does in any on any game in the world and uh, on this trip we just couldn't make it happen on on the eland um i think we did really really well with 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 getting us uh, a beautiful guru bull and yala bull and then uh, um a beautiful bushbuck ram as well as a black back jackal which is which is just the the cherry on the cake they they don't come quite often um with the bow so uh all in all a very very good hunt unfortunately we didn't get that eland and um yeah guys stay tuned the next video will be coming really really soon